Rick Perry is using his indictment as a publicity scam. He set Rick, Rick Pack, his fucking super pack, on Twitter to ask for money. Right after the news broke. Help Rick Pack elect candidates who support a strong border, new jobs, smaller government, and fiscal responsibility like. Dude, you just got indicted for two felonies. So if you didn't hear, Rick Perry, the governor of the state of Texas, last year, threatened Skype call. Gotta wait a minute. Um, this woman, Rosemary Lemberg, who was the head of this company called uh, the Public uh, Texas Public Integrity Unit, which yeah, the volume's gonna go down. Which uh, exposes corruption in the state of Texas. So she got caught drunk driving one night. It was all on video. She made a fucking fool of herself, and like was like had to be restrained. Was you know making faces, saying like really bad, bad stuff. So Rick Perry was like, she's not fit to run the office, and told her that she had to resign. And when she, you know, didn't plan on resigning, he said, resign or I'm going to veto seven and a half million dollars in funding to your organization, the Texas, why can I not remember this, the Public Integrity Unit, I'm going to, and she was like, I'm still not resigning. Then the time came and he vetoed 7.5 million of the Public Integrity Unit. And the grand jury found that he was guilty of, uh, fuck, it's like commit this shit to memory, law student, abuse of official capacity. This is the big one. It's a first degree felony that carries five to 99 year penalty. And it's particularly for him knowingly abusing state power. Taking that seven and a half million dollars of state property technically abusing state property and misusing it knowingly. Kind of hinges on the third degree felony, which is coercion of a public servant. And that's like the one that his defense didn't even attempt to dispute. He coerced her, he told her to quit or he was gonna veto, that's coercion. Quit or, if you went to any head of any agency in the state and said quit or I'm gonna make sure you're, you don't get state funding, not allowed to do that. So knowing that he's not allowed to do that, he still went through with it and so incurred the first degree felony. He's being arraigned next week or so. The lawyer, the prosecuting attorney is awesome. I'll put a link to the uh, video with the prosecuting attorney talking about the results of the case. And I'll link to Rosemary Lemberg's drunken videos because I don't think she's fit to run office either crazy situation, you know, where he truly believes she's not fit to run office, and I agree with him, but he totally overstepped his bounds as governor, pointing out that he was unfit to run the state. I don't even like, on a personal note, these one-person-runs-the-show type things, they're really pissing me off. It's becoming obsolete. But I digress. We'll find a a path for group mentality. Is that the the goal, right? Kings and queens of old.